this video, I want to talk about the activation of acetyl-CoA to malonyl-CoA. So basically, if you recall from beta oxidation, we had to activate a fatty acid to acetyl-CoA, which is the activated form of fatty of the fatty acid that could actually undergo the reactions of beta oxidation. Similar idea here with fatty acid synthesis, we have to activate these acetyl-CoAs to their active form, which is malonyl-CoA. So this is the activated form of acetyl-CoA, and it's the molecule that actually undergoes the reactions of fatty acid synthesis. So we start off with this two-carbon acetyl-CoA, and we attach this carboxyl group here at the bottom, and that carboxyl group comes from a bicarbonate. And so because this is a carboxylation reaction, it, it requires biotin. And in fact, the name of the enzyme that catalyzes this reaction is acetyl-CoA carboxylase. Because, of course, like I said, it's a carboxylation reaction, and that's why it requires bio biotin. And um, adding a carbon carbon dioxide group, or essentially uh, bi the bicarbonate, requires energy. And this makes sense too, given given that if we're having if we're kind of uh, getting ourselves ready for fatty acid synthesis, it makes sense that we're in investing ATP because we're storing energy, so the energy is available. Okay, cool. So this malonyl CoA is the molecule that is committed to fatty acid synthesis. So since it's committed, this step here is the first committed step of uh, fatty acid synthesis. And because of that, it is a key regulatory enzyme in fatty acid synthesis. So we'll see more about that later. Now, malonyl CoA is going to be uh, the main two carbon donor in fatty acid synthesis. And what I mean by that is that Earlier we mentioned that when we're building a fatty acid, we're going to continually add two carbon units at a time. The molecule that's going to be donating those two carbons at a time is malonyl-CoA. It's kind of weird though, right, because this is a three carbon molecule. Why would a three carbon molecule be the two carbon donor? And the reason why is that first step, that first reaction, that condensation reaction, actually releases this carbon dioxide. So this third carbon is irrelevant. Um, in terms of the product that's yielded. So um, the malonyl CoA is going to be the main two carbon donor. And the reason why I say the main two carbon donor is because it's going to contribute almost all the carbons to the palmitate that we're going to be making. So of the 16 carbons in palmitate, 14 of those carbons are from malonyl CoA. The other two carbons are from acetyl CoA. And that's because the first reaction, the first condensation reaction, uh, brings an acetyl-CoA and a malonyl-CoA together. After that, every single two-carbon donor is a malonyl-CoA. So I hope that video was helpful. Thank you for watching.